Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday of the 17th week. We begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You know, again, treasure is something we all look for, but sometimes <clears throat> what is really most important at times we have overlooked. For the times we forgot how important it is to find peace in this life, we ask God's forgiveness. And so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, we may be defended always by your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. As Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the commandments in his hands, he did not know that the skin of his face had become radiant while he conversed with the Lord. When Aaron then and the other children of Israel saw Moses and noticed how radiant the skin of his face had become, they were afraid to come near him. Only after Moses called to them did Aaron and all the rulers of the community come back to him. Moses then spoke to him. Later on, all the children of Israel came up to him and enjoined on them all that the Lord had told him on Mount Sinai. When he finished speaking with them, he put a veil over his face. Whenever Moses entered the presence of the Lord to converse with him, he removed the veil until he came out again. On coming out, he would tell the children of Israel all that had been commanded. Then the children of Israel would see that the skin of Moses' face was radiant, so he would again put the veil over his face until he went in to converse with the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, Holy is the Lord our God. Holy, Holy is, is the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Holy Lord is the Lord, Lord our God. God. Moses and Aaron were among his priests, and Samuel among those who called upon his name. They called upon the Lord, and he answered them, Holy, Holy is, is the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. From the pillar of cloud he spoke to them. They heard his decrees and the law he gave them. Holy, holy is, is the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. Extol the Lord our God, and worship at his holy mountain, for holy is the Lord our God. Holy, holy is, is the, the Lord, Lord our, our God. God. Friends, may the Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. There's a book by Stephen Bauman, uh, senior minister at New York's Christ Church, and the title of it is Simple Truths and Values, Civility, and Other Common Good. In it, he talks about his friend Dan, who changed his career. He was a t dedicating a full-time, he was a full-time volunteer for homeless teenagers. Um, and he goes on to describe about Dan. He said Dan had a banking career that was on the rise. He was extremely successful. He was going places, but he chose to take a year off and work with kids. And he said, Bauman says, one night he asked Dan, why? I mean, your career was up and running. You had everything going for you. Your star was on the rise. What changed your mind? Here's what he said. Dan says to him, it all came down to an exchange with my boss and I one Friday afternoon. He said, I had promised myself that I would spend Saturday with my two sons, whom I rarely saw and missed a great deal. He said, my boss said that an important meeting had been called for, the, for 10 o'clock the next morning, Saturday. Dan replied that he said that he promised the day to his boys. He said, my boss shot back and said to me, if I wanted to stay part of the team, I'd have to change my attitude. That I was really serious about my career, my boys would have to raise themselves. However, 
that I would be the best damn provider they could ever want or need. He goes on to say, Dan said that when it was put to him that way, his decision was really quite easy. His life issues had never been in sharper focus. He was grateful for the, for the opportunity to say that on Saturday, he would be playing hardball on another field. So he goes on to say in the book that Dan was able to discover what he really wanted his life to be about, how he found happiness in spending time and generously giving to other people, and that's what God had intended. You know, Jesus in today's gospel talks about treasures and pearls of lasting value. And as I was reading about that, I was thinking to myself, you know, how often I've seen treasures. I see them at funerals, believe it or not. The family that's mourning, but not there, although I'm sure it's there, but all the people that gather in church and are there for them, to support them, that's a pearl of, of, uh, that's invaluable. It's a pearl that is worth more than all the tea in China, as they say. It's really quite a gift because, you know, to seek anything else uh, other than doing good for others is to settle for much less than God has given. I want to say that again. To seek anything else is to settle for much less than God has given. God has given us a lot that even when things go wrong, he sent people into our lives to remind us that we're not alone. Think about that pearl. God bless. For the people that have been with us as our struggles, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, our hear our prayer. prayer. For the sick and those who are preparing to leave this life for the kingdom of God, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For children, we may be an example to them of people who believe and trust in the love of God, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to give you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the, May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for, for our, our good and, and the good of God's, God's holy church. O Lord our God, who wants to establish these created things to sustain us in our frailty. Grant that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. God our loving Father, for in goodness you created us, and when we were justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed us through Jesus your Son. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this bread, bread and drink and this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember Marian Krolik and Michael T. Champy, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they were united with your son in a death like his, and may also be one with him 
in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faiths. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let's offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sin, sin of, the of the world, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. O Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, our faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing truly guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a good day, everyone.